They, they are usually standing, waiting for you, and I'm sure they're waiting. They've had people come in all the time, I'm sure, and they're really not quite sure what's going to happen, so they're very serious, mm -hmm. you know, looking mm -hmm. when, I, when I come in. But usually within about five minutes, I've got them where I need, okay. need to be. Yeah. That is really, really something. Well, as I read, Betty, I want to ask you a little bit. And these two, this, this really didn't seem to go with laughter. And I know you've worked with this man. And this is another article in one of these great publications. This one is the Whole Living Journal. I read both of these, the one I mentioned earlier uh, every month. And laughter yoga. And Betty, of course, uh, this is the yoga teacher. He's Patrick, is it Wellage? Wellage. Wellage. Patrick Wellage is the yoga teacher. And Betty and he had a session together because then Betty incorporated the laughter with the yoga. And Betty, that seems so far apart because yoga is very disciplined and meditative and serious. And so I thought you're doing the pose course I know they do their poses and then intermittently you would be there mm -hmm. and you would get them make well, them laugh. Lana it's done differently with different yoga teachers as okay. a matter of fact Patrick does a lot of what I do okay he came to one of my sessions um, I wonder really even why he was there and he said I just wanted to see what you did and um, I went to his but uh, usually what what he does is similar to what I do mm -hmm. And then in the end, what happens is he'll get people in a yoga pose. And by that time, they've been laughing for a long time, and so they just, they, they just keep laughing Even in, in, in their really? yoga pose. But um, he does not uh, put people into a pose and then do a laughter. He does it at the, at the end and pretty much um, incorporates that in the end with his, his uh, position. That oh, I see. They, so in. they've done their yoga poses, and then at the end they laugh. Yeah. Okay. Or they're laughing. They're laughing, and at the end, they do their yoga pose. Okay. Okay, well, that makes sense because, I mean, the, you know, the two mm -hmm. are very different. Yeah. But I think it's, is it a doctor at, from India? Dr. Katara is the one that started the laughter yoga in India, and he had a group of people in a park to come once a week and, and laugh with him. And what, what the way he started was some jokes and things like that, but he was soon finding out that people ran out of jokes, and so did he, and you can't laugh the same thing after a while. And so he, he encouraged people to come back and just laugh with him. And so he started that, and it, he really he started a whole movement, not only in this country, but other countries too. Mm -hmm. and his is not a pose either so much, but it's people standing up, getting together and laughing. Mm -hmm. And now there are laughing clubs They're laughing sweeping clubs. across the country. That's correct. And so people have really embraced. I think that surely they realize, you know, I'm too serious. You know, life used to, di it didn't seem like life was this serious. And mm -hmm. I didn't think about it until I started reading your articles on mm -hmm. laughter and lighten up and, hey, you can just belly laugh out of the blue and yes. feel better and... Uh, you just don't think about it. It just sort of, you know, uh, sneaks up on you that, you mm -hmm. know, hey, well, I'm we not have, as light as I we was. We have a situation in our country where the, the, the stress has increased because people take more and more and more and more things on. Mm -hmm. And um, I also think that, that people have a problem with that because if you ask somebody, how are you today? What are they going to say most of the time? They're going to say busy. Yes. And, and so there's this busy mania thing that people feel like they have to be into. And if they're not, there's something wrong with them if they're not busy. Mm -hmm. So people have this time frame of what they go, need to go, do go. And go in a day. And to the point where, you know, all of that is brought to the attention because people aren't even eating right. They're eating on the run because they, they, they don't have time. So all of that is contributing to the, to the, the problem the, to the problem that we have in this country. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, and I can, it's very severe. I can see that, and I can really see a, a, a need for, use for your laughter therapy. So, uh, so we should laugh at home more? You should, should laugh at home more. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you can do some of that 
um, by teaching your family some things that you say you're going to have a, a little session maybe after after dinner or there's a specific time but you can you can start to do some of that by getting uh, maybe even bringing balloons into the house and getting people to the kids to toss them up in the air and and, and again that kind of lightens up things a little the bit the whole atmosphere then that's yes. what we're trying to work on right uh, they can they could get clown noses, mm -hmm. different kind of funny little sounds. They could have a band of of uh, pots and pans like like they used to do, mm -hmm. but bring in other things too. Getting to march around the table and all all of that gets it going. And then uh, if they're I, I do have a laughter kit. If they if they do that, then they can also bring in um, some laughter with that and get laughing or maybe somebody in the family will take on the task of getting people to start the laughter some mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. but that can be done and so you're you're you feel great satisfaction from your laughter therapy do, do you when you leave somewhere and you know that you've lightened them up and they feel good in the prison situation the office situation so you have found your niche. I found my say. niche. I this found is, my niche. This is yes. it. And I do other things besides laughter, too, uh, Lan. I do one um, uh, session called Lend Me Your Ear, which is obviously listening, and it's lighthearted. And I also do one that's called Happy Staff, which is uh, showing people in companies how people can not only laugh, but how you can make your, your employees happy, and that way they're, they improve their motivation motivation there builds morale and uh, it definitely helps the bottom line oh yes so they would be very so you have other programs outside of the laughter that can help that's correct wow so Betty we're, we're almost out of time we oh my god yes it has zoomed by is there any closing that you would like to tell our viewers about the importance of one more one more case thing? for laughter yes I would. Okay. I have a little thing here I would like to read, if I can come up with it here. Please. And um, this was, is by um, a woman called uh, Junkins. And, if, and then it, she says, if waves of laughter were sweeping the land, waves of violence would not be possible. Laughter is warm, bonding, and contagious. We need to connect with those we love and with our fellow human beings. We would need to feel good. We need to feel safe. We need to laugh more. Anyone can join this laughter movement. All it takes is a willingness to risk some loss of control. The limit may start with a few shy giggles. The courageous may jump right into it and do a great belly laugh. A sense of humor is not required. There's more than enough stress to go around, and absurdity abounds in our daily lives. All we have to do is believe. Let go, clap our hands, and laugh. Laughter will live again. So, so will we. Laughter is feeling deeply, which is, allows us to live fully. Great. So you want to laugh, Lana? Right. Well, let, let's laugh before we before we end the show. Sure. Okay. I want you first to make a face at Larry. There we go. <laughs> and then you can make another face. Get another one on here with this person sitting over here. Okay. Our crew member. Okay. Now, if you start, you're rocking. Okay. Like you're you're going to do. You're going to rock back and forth. Your head. Okay, and sometimes you get really rough and really hard. Okay, and then what's going to come out of your mouth is ha ha he he ho ho. Can you say that? Ha ha he he. Ha 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 you have been listening to Betty Finney today. She's a laughter therapist. She's not kidding around. All of her information will be up at the end of the show. As always, be happy, keep smiling, keep laughing, and I'll see you soon.